Hey guys, Razor from Razor's Edge here. Taking another look and gameplay management of our space station in stable orbit. So basically this video is going to cover the systems that I have installed. I have been up for a full month and a half. And I'm going to go over each of the systems, um, pieces that I'm missing um, for extensions. Um, and just basically some of the uh, issues I've been faced with. I have had a crew member die. Um, and uh, just a progress report and just kind of go over br briefly what I've learned in the short time I've been playing. So uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, if you find uh, you like it, uh, click the like button and uh, and subscribe to the channel. Um, it's much appreciated. So let's let's uh, get rid of this banner and the logo and let's dive in. Okay, so briefly, I'm just gonna go a 360 around the station, um, explain each system. Um, explain uh, the bottom uh, menu that you see here and then uh, research some, complete some of the features across the top um, on the sidebar here and um, what what challenges we're faced with so well let, let's start with this module right here these are our water tanks um, right now since we only have one crew member um, you can see that our water supply is good for about 7.2 months. Now, a shuttle does come up and resupply once a month. So, with that in mind, that kind of allows you to gauge where you're at with each of the systems. So, we don't need to do anything with that. You can see the costs associated per day for maintenance with those. So, money always becomes a factor. And as you can see, we're at one point. Uh, actually 122 million which sounds like a whole lot of money but it's really not um, going to the next system we'll just go to the basic unit itself um, that basically supports the one crew member that's a sleeping station gives you a brief overview of all the systems and how they're doing as far as your output and wattage and the input that you have coming in and um, uh, and, and that's about it for information there. Now this piece right here that I've attached this is a solar array. What I found is these and as you can notice it actually turns and follows the Sun so it's much more effective at gathering power to charge the batteries which we're going to talk about here in a minute. Um, let's go to the next little piece here. All this piece does here is it functions as a docking station. Boosting station altitude for um, the incoming shuttles. Now if you remember there was an airlock and I think the airlock what that does is allow you to extend out some of these pieces um, to attach modules in other directions. So unfortunately right now we cannot detach anything as we don't have the money to put them back into place. Um, I, I just tried that with the food module and that depleted us back. We were averaging about 4 million um, or 400 million. Um, and which brings us to the food storage. So as you can see our food supply is about 4.8 months so we're fine there. No upgrades required. 120k per day. Um, and we're, we're holding in here um, pretty much in our money and I'll, I'll get into how money is made um, Going to the back of the the craft. Actually, I think this is the front um, This is the actual lab itself Now we have one crew member as we um, and there are bigger um, Modules that support more crew members But right now we're just going with the one crew member. We didn't specialize in anything. So basically any research project I pick up on uh, that crew member will take that that um, research and I'll show you how you actually pull research out so let's see on the next module there's our water supply 
Our water supply is displayed down here, seven months, so no, no upgrades required here. Again, there's your maintenance costs associated with that. And I think we've covered all the way around. So we still have our solar panels here. They're attached to the actual core itself. Not a lot you can do with that. I'm um, in the battery supply. What I found is three is sufficient. You can see it's at 100%. It'll fluctuate in the darkness. Um, we could probably drop that down. You can see the kilowatts here. They're not producing research anything. Research complete. And uh, you hear the messages that research is being complete, and we're going to cover that. So you can see they're depleting. Um, we may actually, I'm looking at that, drop a battery based on the daytime and nighttime cycle um, because it does increase the cost per day. Um, of what we need so I've been keeping an eye on that just looking at the percentages of what's left over when when the uh, daylight and sunlight come out and in so um, let's go to the bottom of the craft I think yes this is actually what's uh, the uh, radiator unit there's not an upgrade feature to it but you can add additional ones that has been bubbled. It runs between 40% and 50%. So we definitely want to keep an eye on that. We don't have any mounting points to add any more. Um, and there is no upgrade feature to that. So you'd have to add more units. So let's take a look at the systems themselves. So you saw that the uh, percentages never drop below. So I think we are going to drop one of the batteries. I don't think we need it. We can cut down on our cost. So we're going to go ahead and let's remove one of the battery packs. And that's basically I just click and remove. And I think we'll be okay right there. And we should see these numbers come back up. Now, far, as far as uh, crew members, these tabs, we're going to cover these over here. You can speed up and slow down time. This is our crew member. They do uh, operate in shifts, so you'll see at times they're sleeping, at times they're awake and working and eating. So here you can actually see the status of each of the crew members, and now they're resting. Um, and we're, we're playing in normal mode, or uh, normal speed. Um, but let's take a look at the research. So these are the research projects that are available to us and the rewards that are associated. We're going to grab that. As you can see, there are different research technologies and the uh, reward that's associated with them. As long as you leave an unassigned or non-specialized um, to each one, they'll work on each one. And you can see the progress there as they work on them. So that that's pretty much how I'm maintaining money. And these are all the completed research projects that I've done. Um, so as far as technology, I can't really show you that because I actually have to click into an empty module. But the goal here, see, so you can see 50%. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. And we've already got the sun coming up, so that's going to be charging. So we're, we're good with that battery. We may even be able to drop one more. Because you can see, it did drop our cost per day down, um, which is nice. So we're going to keep an eye on that. The visuals are absolutely stunning in this game. Um, uh, it, it's, it's a nice micromanagement game uh, um, uh, or simulator as far as operating a space station. Um, I would like to get the expansion modules because we do want to upgrade the, the add additional crew members, get more people on here. But, um, oh, wrong one. So these are the specialization tabs I was talking about. So I've left them all in check. And you can see the cost per day, the outputs, um, and how that's working. So right now we're just maintaining, we're basically trying to build these funds back up so that we can detach a unit. Performing automatic station keeping boost. And what we'll probably do is we'll detach the food unit. Um, because one crew member only needs a, complete. only needs about a month um, and we're well over that so 
Um, we'll detach that and we'll we'll put the airlock on there and and see if we can't uh, start expanding this ship out uh, at least in one direction and then we'll work on the other side. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. That's the overview. Um, I'm gonna pause here um, and uh, basically um, let some time elapse. See if we can't get that. You can see the money is increasing. So um, when I get up to about six or seven million, six hundred million, I'm gonna actually pop that off. I'll be able to afford the airlock and we'll see if we can't uh, st start expanding this ship and see what research you you actually as you're doing research gain more um, upgrades too as well so um, we'll keep an eye on this so far we're doing pretty good so um, I don't think I, I don't think I've missed anything at least clickable um, we can go ahead and mark all those red. We've had these we can sort through these warning and these were a while ago um, This information on what's been completed and then all the messages So I have them all marked red and you can see the status here of the information informations and criticals so That's where we're at. Let's pause. We'll be back Okay, just to cover a little bit more on research. So I did pull the battery off. We're doing fine there. Everything is going good, but I did want to cover these research projects. So currently our one crew member is working on this one and there was no deadline on that, but it is running pretty slow. As you'll notice when these research projects come up, they do have expirations associated with them. So I'm a little concerned the date's August 4th here and that one expires on September 9th. So based on the progress I'm seeing here, I don't think we're gonna make the deadline and I don't know if there's a penalty associated with that yet. I've never actually failed one. So um, as soon as that mission finishes, um, we're gonna fast forward. I wanna show a docking procedure with a resupply. Um, that project that she's working on right now should give us enough capital to go ahead and put an airlock on and see what technology we have available to us. Um, as far as systems go, everything's been holding in steady. Pretty happy with that. Um, I don't think I can remove any more power or battery storage um, to cut down costs. I think everything's pretty locked in where it's at. Um, it's quite nice. I, I've watched satellites go by um, below us um, and uh, it's just a re really neat uh, to, to watch. Um, really, really superb graphics. Uh, I'm running this uh, maxed out on all resolutions. Um, all, all the settings are completely maxed. Flight path is kind of neat. This is where the, the craft is currently. Um, so you can kind of follow your flight plan, you know, at your orbital plan from mission control, um, which is which is pretty cool. So uh, anyway, we're going to wait for that, that mission that she's working on to wrap up. Uh, let's see where she's at now. Yeah, see, you can see it's moving pretty slow. Um, it's just one person. So... Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that because uh, she's eating. <laughs> Be nice if you could tell them to put priority on that. Um, but uh, we'll we'll uh, keep it. She's been in space for 27 days. I don't know if they do replacements for crew members when they come up. Um, so we've only actually had one ship come up. So it'll be nice to see the time speed laps go forward. You know, once you get the ship stabilized, everything's pretty smooth. It's when you start making changes that you really got to start watching these numbers. Um, otherwise, you could end up with a catastrophe and uh, end of a end of a station. So it'll be uh, pretty interesting. So as soon as I get some progress here and get that 
mission finished, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll run that time lap. All right, we actually got lucky. Um, the supply pod is there, so we've been up in space now for two months because um, these do come once a month. So watch all the numbers jump. Supply pod has docked. So they'll actually resupply the ship with what we need. Um, and then they'll they'll detach away. Now since this only supports one crew member, there's not a whole lot we can do with about Supply that. Pod has left the station. So let's take a look at our crew. Let's see if we got a replacement. Nope, same one. 28 days. Which is weird because that's the second trip. So I'm not sure how that works. Um, but that's the second supply pod that we've had. So Earth falling back to Earth into the ocean. Bye bye. Doom. So uh, let's see where she's at in research. Not even 50%. What's the date? August 6th. And we're not even halfway yet. So going to be cutting it close. Pretty close. But we'll keep going. You can see the funds are holding pretty steady. So I think we're, we'll be okay. I hope. <laughs> So I kind of changed my mind. I mean, there's not a whole lot we can do as far as uh, failure on that uh, science project. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just fast forward. Um, I'll pause occasionally. I'm not going to comment. We're just going to kind of do a flyby and uh, let you watch the scenery as we go fast forward here. So let's just go ahead and occasionally I'll check the uh, progress of the... Uh, of the uh, mission that she's working on and uh, we'll see how close we're cutting it. So it's August 9th. I think we'll be okay. Here we go. Boosting station altitude. Boosting station altitude. Performing automatic station keeping boost. Research complete. All right, so we're back to nine point or nine hundred forty three million. So now I've, I've got it paused. Uh, let's see. We do have another mission here. She's working on the second one. You can go ahead and accept that. So... I think we can pop the uh, food away. And we should be able to afford, I hope, um, the uh, docking station. And hopefully we can build onto that. If not, we're going to have to build it back and we're going to be back to square one. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to eject this. And unpause it. And, uh... Let's see what all we have here. 
Oh, uh, we need. <laughs> we don't have enough for the airlock. Oh, man. Well, that's not too bad. The food is only, uh. Yeah, you can see. So we'll have to make a mental note. Um, see, we got trusses now. So uh, that's actually a good thing. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We can do a medium truss, a small truss. We've got gimbal nodes. Pressurized. So now we're starting to deal with uh, architecture and thrust modules because once you start spreading the ship out, you've got challenges with um, control. Um, so I think we're going to go. Oh, I'm almost afraid to do a large truss, um, but I think that's what we're going to do. And we're going to have to build that food module because you can see um, with meals, that's only three weeks. That won't get us all the way to a month. So let's buy the large truss. And as they build that, we will see what that set this up with. This will be a lesson learned, if anything. See if there's any other research since we're on that. Nope. Okay. So you are unlocking research, which is really cool. So this game just continuously gets more and more advanced. And it's going to teach you a lot more about what those terms, the gimbal, things like that, are what they mean. All right, so you can see now we have several different connection points. Um, and we've still got a fair bit amount of money. Um, we might just go ahead and so this is the water tanks. Um, if I spread those out and keep things tight inside, I don't think we'll need anything too costly um let's see what the price is on the water uh let's see here what was the large trust that's 175 million and the water hopefully it shows us the water we can go right to it actually water tanks are 25 so we can actually put that back in well it's cutting it close because we got to build the food i don't think we have enough so we're gonna have to buy the food module here to replace what we took off and that is gonna throw the mass off on this station So we'll have to see what that does. And again, you're going to have to go back to here because this is what's showing you that path. You have to maintain that curve. If you start to deviate from that, that, that's when you lose stability. And you can do a lot of Wikipedia. There's a lot of information on this, uh, just as uh, with the Kerbal Space, um, learning about orbits, how this control is maintained and what these retro boosts do. Okay. How's our scientists doing in there? Pretty good, sleeping. All right, so we got our food there. So far, so good. Um. And we have 502 million. The problem with this is we have to worry about maintaining. We can't just spend all the money. We won't have enough to maintain the cost of all these systems. So we're going to have to kind of go with that. So let's uh let's speed up time again. Let's listen for a, a supply mi pod is nearing the station commander. Uh, all right. 
supply pod has docked. Fantastic. And as we get bigger, supply uh, pod has left the station. Okay. All right, so let's see if there's any new missions available to us. There are. Go take that. Good drop away. Yep. Right on, hopefully, into the ocean, not in the cities. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit ground. Oh, sorry, people. Um. All right, let's speed time forward. Boosting station altitude. It looks like we're okay on our flight path. Boosting station altitude. So all the numbers down here look good. Let's see how our crew members doing. Boosting station altitude. Okay, how's our flight path? Good. So once we get all these out, we can actually really trim this ship up and start making it more symmetrical. Really an awesome game if you Boosting station altitude. start to understand these systems and how they work. Um, it's as much a simulator as it is a game. Which is always a happy balance. All right, any new research? Supply pod arriving. Here we go. A nice. new supply pod has arrived at the station. All right, so let's slow time supply down. Supply pod departing. All right. So a supply pod drop would be a really good time if we were going to drop our food, but unfortunately we haven't. Um, look at the, uh, that, that's a huge jump right there. That's going to give us a ton of money. We'll really be able to work. I think once that's finished, we're going to be able to go on the other side and uh, increase that. So let's go ahead and pick up time again. Look at this visual. Boosting station altitude. So now we're doing on our flight. Okay, a little shaky, but uh, we're all right. You can see our money depleting here with operating costs and no income. She's gonna have space sickness if she's up here too long. 
Guess I could spend a year up here. Performing automatic station keeping boost. Yeah, see that that's a key right there. Alright, we're fine. It's when they can't is when you have the failures. And all that comes at an operating cost, so more more retro rockets. Uh, it's uh, really gonna get uh, quite complex, as you can see. Boosting station altitude. All right, see how our research is coming along. Almost done. So I think I'm gonna end this episode after we get the uh, we get the income. We'll get this um, airlock in, get the expansion out, get the food. Pretty much in the same. They're about the same weight mass. And then if uh, we do more videos, we'll actually start building the station out. Performing automatic station keeping boost. And uh, get the research lab increased, get more scientists up here. And remember, everybody we bring on board changes all these numbers. Research complete. All right. Let's take a look here. Take that mission. All right, we're at uh, quite enough money. So let's go ahead and uh, drop our food supply or our water supply. Let's dump it and let's go ahead and put our extension on with the airlock. Performing automatic station keeping boost. We gotta watch our food supply. Oh, she's got plenty. Or water supply, sorry. 2.9 weeks, so that should be done by then. Supply pot arriving. And we're fine because we've got a pod coming in. Perfect timing. A new supply pod has arrived at the station. That should give us... Yep. There we go, everybody. Everything's topped off. Uh-oh. Why'd we lose a crew member? Are we getting a replacement? Supply pod has left the station. Well, now we're in trouble. Oh, great. <laughs> We've lost that crew member. Um, and why'd we lose all that money? That's interesting. I don't remember that one being that expensive. Oh, I built the wrong part. I built an airlock. Yeah, that was a big failure on our part. Um, we built the wrong piece. We actually wanted the... Um... Yeah, that was dumb. We got a habitat now. We wanted the large truss. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a big failure. Um, now, when I get the food back in, when the supply ship does come in, we will get a refill of crew member for that station, but the question is whether we have enough money to su sustain the operating costs without uh, damaging these systems. And I know we can afford the uh, food unit here. That was just really poor planning on my part. That was a mistake. Those can just kill you. There, we've got it finished. So let's go ahead and put the um, food unit on there. Um, click here. Oh, great. <laughs> We're going to have to wait for the module to come in. And hope we got enough money. Let's speed up time because there's really nothing we can do. But watch that deplete. Performing automatic station keeping boost. Will we make it? That's a big, big... Boosting station altitude. Yeah. It's gonna be close. And this was a really good run for me too, so I'll be really, uh... Not happy. <laughs> Thing is, every time you do this, you learn more and more. You have new research contracts. Yeah, I'm sure we do. Got nobody to do them. Sadly. Boosting station altitude. Need that supply ship. Really bad. All right, we're gonna pause here. I'll pick it up as soon as that ship comes in. All right, the supply ship came in. We picked up a crew member, but our water supply levels are dropping. 2.7 weeks. So she's actually working, or whoever our new crew member is. Ellie, I feel bad because they probably brought you up here to your death. They're working on this progress. This is gonna give us 164 million. Um, how much do we need to build the water? 250. Commander, we are running out of water. Yeah, I know. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for them to, uh, finish that project. Boosting station altitude. Watching the water dwindle. 2.6. Water weeks. levels are dangerously low, Commander. I'm aware. Thank you, computer. Water levels are dangerously low, Commander. Research complete. Alright. Now we can build our water tanks. Come on, I... Oh, they're building. Good. Alright. We have recovered. As long as that's done before the water runs out. We will be back on track and we will end this video for this episode. So that's what you call a catastrophe. <laughs>
Commander, we are running out of water. Not anymore, we're not. There we go. We've got water. Their wire O2 is running low. Did we? Where'd our O2 unit go? I don't remember blowing that away. Yeah, we're fine there. I don't understand why that's uh, skewed. Too weak. What's the problem? I don't know. We'll work that out. So I'm going to end this video. This is Razor from Razor's Edge. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It shows you a lot more detail of the uh, what this game is about and the mechanics and uh, all that goes into it. The next episode, we're going to continue to build that. We're actually going to pull these pieces off and start building this out, adding retros, um, and really starting to detail out this ship. So... If you like the video, uh, subscribe, click like, leave feel to free feel free to leave comments, and uh, share your um, your projects. I'm interested to see those as well. So uh, until next time, I'll see you guys when I see you in space. Have a good night or evening. <laughs>